Okay, okay, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Good. Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to this English class here on Zoom. Thank you. It's nice to have you one more time, and I hope everybody is okay at home. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. We will continue working with this. Oh, Jesus. Oopsie. Oh, give me a minute, please. Oh, Jesus. Hello. How are you? I just need to move some things here so I don't get confused on this one. Okay. Because the, um, the bottoms are close to the pass bottom here on on the Zoom, so I don't want to get uh, so I'm having trouble. Okay, let me check really quick. Okie dokie, here we go. Thank you so much. We have Thursday, as you may know, this is uh, our last class of this section, number three, and uh, we're going to finish that today. Uh, we're going to have a, a little bit more practice, some examples about requests. If that is the one we've been working so far. This kind of thing is somehow difficult, yes, because it's getting harder and harder, right? So, um, we have indirect requests introduced by if or whether. This is class number eight, and it's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here, okay? Thank you, thank you. Uh, we're gonna have um, this information for today. I hope that we can have a lot of time for practice. I got a bunch of exercises for you. Um, so you can participate as much as you can. If, if you have a problem with your mic, please let me know that information uh, in the chat so I can be clear about it. Yes, and I will take the attendance um in 30 minutes okay so um that's the way i'm gonna do it thank you so much let's begin this is pre-advanced english module number one class number eight thank you so much we're gonna have this thing which is guess the brand anybody please tell me what's the brand that you see here What's the brand? Any idea? Yes, yes. Adivina. Yeah, the brand. Guess the brand. Marca. Exactly. Thank you, Blanca. What is that? What is that brand? Samsung could be. <laughs> No, nah, it's not that one. <laughs> that's very close. But it's not the one. That's the one. That's not the one. Uh-huh. So what's the brand? Any idea? Selena, what's the brand? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any idea? Anybody? No. Excuse me? Uh, no, any idea. Oh, okay. What about you, Sarah? Any idea about this brand? What's the brand? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, Giovanni? I'm still thinking about it because the first one that Ray said, you said that it's wrong. <laughs> well, can you repeat that one just to be clear? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm thinking about it because the first one that I told you, you told me that it's wrong. That's what I'm, I'm still thinking. Yeah, can you like say it again so you, I can be oh, clear? Yeah. Uh, no, no worries. I told you Samsung the first time and you oh, told yes. me that, that it was wrong. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. It's incorrect. <laughs> it's incorrect. No, just, yeah. just to like recheck, you know what I mean? Just to be sure about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. that's why I'm Thank still you. thinking about it. No worries. 
Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Uh huh. What's the brand that we have here? Any idea? Jose Quick Lino? question. How do you say pista, teacher? Oh, I. Uh... <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so do I. Because <laughs> we want to know about it. <laughs> and it's a hard. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, so do I. I, I forgot. <laughs> no, but just think about the simple, the simple way to to pronounce this vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a brand. Got it. Oh, tell me, please. I think I think so. I fun. You got it. Yeah, that's true. iPhone. That's the one, right? So you say I, and then a phone. So this is an iPhone. Very good. What about the next one? Thank you so much, Giovanni. You give us the light, okay? The next one is going to be easy, right? What about this one? Guess the fruit. Virgo. <laughs> Warning melon, this thing. <laughs> In Spanish, Virgo. <laughs> that's, that's very close. Yeah, that's very close. <laughs> it's on the same field, for sure. <laughs> Uh, what's the fruit here? Someone wrote on the chat teacher. Oh, let me double check that one. Uh, yes, that is correct, Oscar. Mango. Yeah. Mango. That's what we have here. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, uh, Giovanni, now that you got the key, like everything is easy for them. What about this one? What's the game? Angry Bird. Angry Bird. Exactly. Angry Bird, right? That was a very popular game back in the days. And yes, that is right, Oscar. Angry Bird. Yeah. That was a popular game, right? I don't think it's popular anymore. But back in the day, this used to be one of the big ones. Okay. We're going to have a video which is related to the topic for today. I need you to listen and pay close attention which is related to interest questions introduced by if or whether. Let's, let me check audio just to be clear. And I'll be sure about it. Yes, here we go. Listen and check. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to make indirect requests. We use indirect requests when you want to give a message to someone who is not present or not available. Let's say, for example, you call a person and the person is not there, but you leave a message. This is what we call an indirect request. Today, we're going to focus on turning yes or no questions into indirect requests. And we're going to use if or whether. So we're going to ask a question indirectly. For example, could you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday? Or another way could be, could you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday or another way could be could you ask Sophia whether she's free on Friday so let me quickly present some structure as you can see on the chart you can see how we turn yes or no questions into indirect requests so the example that I had given earlier was Sophia are you free on Friday I turned that into an indirect request by saying can you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday another way that we can possibly do this is by saying could you ask Sophia whether she's free on Friday? And then a third way that we can actually do it is by saying, could you ask Sophia whether or not she's free on Friday? So all of those three ways are just different forms on how we can ask the same thing. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to write a couple of questions, and then we're going to practice turning those questions into indirect requests. So let me just uh, uh, write the question here, and then we will turn that into an indirect request. Okay, there we go. So um, let's say, for example, we have the first one. Do you ha uh, Jennifer, do you have a date for the party? So how are we going to change this? Well, first of all, we can either ask with can or could. So we won't be polite. So we want to say could you, right? Could you? And then in this case, we're going to change the verb to ask. Right, could you ask uh, Jennifer? If she has a date for the party. Right, 
So what we did was we added could you, and then we uh, that follows the verb ask, and then that follows uh, the object Jennifer, and that follows if. All right. Could you ask Jennifer if? And here is the message that we want to give, if she has a date for the party. Notice that we don't include the auxiliary verb in this kind of question. So that will be one way to put it. Another way could be, could you ask Jennifer whether she has a date for the party. That could be another way to do it. And finally, one uh, last way that we want to learn as well is, could you ask Jennifer whether or not she has a date for the party? Okay. So on the first one, we use if. On the second one, we use just the word uh, whether. And then we use whether or not. Uh, and then uh, the message uh, did not change. So I'm going to go ahead and color that in green just so that you can see that it did not change. All right. There we go. Okay, excellent. Notice that in this case, we are no longer given a message but asking a question instead. And so, therefore, the verb that we uh, use is no longer tell, but uh, we use the verb ask. So, what I'd like for you to do next, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, write a couple of more questions here. And this time, I would like for you to try them out. See if you can turn those questions into indirect requests. I want you to do it in the three forms that we just um, did at this time. All right, so let me just change the size on there so you can quickly see it. So, Jennifer, do you have my number? This is actually the example that is here. Could you ask Jennifer whether or not she has my number? Uh, Jennifer, do you want to go to the party with me? Could you ask Jennifer if she wants to go to the party with me? Could you ask Jennifer whether or not she wants to go to the party with me? But what I would like for you to do is go through this um, exercise following the pattern that you see there. Uh, and of course, by doing that, you'll make sure that you are understanding this particular topic. Okay, let's check. Let's check some exercises here. Okay, we're gonna have these messages. Use these following messages uh, to complete a phone conversation. Use indirect requests. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna read these messages. Um, Sarah, please read these messages. For Sylvia, Miss Karen Landers, go. Her flight arrives at 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Please meet her in the international arrival area. For Mike, Mr. Maxwell, called yesterday. The meeting is on Thursday at 10.30 a.m. Don't forget to bring your report. For Mark, Ed called this morning. Can he borrow your scanner? If he can, when can he pick it up? For Kathy, Andy show called earlier. Are you going to the conference tomorrow? What time does it start? Thank you. So we're going to use these messages to complete the following, um, let's say, um, exercises. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. Here on the top, as you may see, we have the four messages. And then we're going to have like a short conversation between A and B. Yes. So it begins like, is Sylvia Vega there, please? No, she isn't. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Karen Landers calling from Toronto. Could you tell her 
that my flight arrives at 7 p.m. on Tuesday. And then we have would. And then, okay, I'll give her the message. So, what is the indirect request that we are going to make with would? Will you tell uh, to pick up? Okay, the first one is the flyer arrives at seven, right? On Tuesday, please meet her in the international arrivals area. Okay, would, would you tell her? That's what you told me, right? Would you tell her? Okay, you tell her. That's what you told me. Would you tell her? That's maybe, what is... maybe to meet in the international arrivals area. Uh, could you tell her? Um, if you can meet if... at the international, you tell me, right? Yep, yes, uh, to before meet. Would you tell her to meet at the international arrivals area? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, international arrivals, right? Arrivals. Okay, area. Uh, this one. Okay, let us check. Mm, would you tell her to meet at the international arrivals area? Okay, uh, could you tell her that my fly? Oh, because he's, he's making it about himself. That my fly, could you tell her to meet? Okay, are we missing something there? Would you tell her to meet? Let's, I'm going to add this one and you tell me if that fits a little bit. Uh, would you tell her to meet me at the international arrivals area? How does it sound? It sounds better, right? Yes. Yeah, sounds better. Would you tell her to meet me at the international arrivals area? Would you tell her to meet me? Yes. Well, for me, that sounds better. Let me know if if that. Um, also, we can say. Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm going to write it here and you let me know, okay? Um, let me see. I'm thinking would, I'm sorry, uh, would she mind meeting? Oh, Sarah. A meeting on me at the international ar arrivals area. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, the one that you gave me sounds pretty good for me. Yeah. Also, um, I can use this one. I can use this one. Right? Would she mind meeting me at the international arrival arrivals area? But you tell me. 
I mean, for me, like this one, the one that you gave me is, is right. Also, also, I can use, would she mind meeting me at the international arrivals area? So if you have both of them, that is good. If you have the one that you gave me, that's good. And also, if you want this, if you have this one on the top, it's, it's, good, it's good as well. Yeah. If you have another answer, I'll be glad to hear that about it. Yeah. Actually, I have one. Just I want to make sure about it. Can oh, sure. It? Sure. Um, it's, would you do me the favor to tell her to meet me at the International Airables area? Okay. Would you do uh, me a favor and tell her, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Tell, tell her. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good as well. Okay. Yeah. Would you do me a favor and tell her? Uh, again, we have the same verb, right? To meet uh, me at the international arrivals area. Yeah. That sounds pretty good for me. Yeah. Would you do me a favor and tell her to meet me at the international arrivals area? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, also, we're working with this information, right? So we can have these options when it comes to asking for um, a request using the options that they give us. Very good. I'm going to delete this one so we can move on to the next one. Okay. Thank you. Let's work with this one here. Can I speak to Mark, please? I'm afraid he's not here. Do you want to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Ed, please. Oh, this one is difficult. Okay, tell me. Uh, what do you think we have here? Teacher, uh, I was wondering about it's just a way in which we need to make the the question because I, I think that there are many ways in in this situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ones that we have here, I would also if also uh could. Uh, so the ones that we're gonna use are those options, and and then at the end you pick one and you work with that one. You know what I mean? That's why I'm I'm yeah. asking you like which one do you think is is the beginning of of the sentence because in the indirect questions, like we have different options, right? We have good, uh, I don't know. Um, we have, there is one that we saw in the video that is um, please, for example, here we can say ask, asking. I'm sorry, yeah, asking, yes. So we can start with that one, asking, yes. And then we can add the rest of the class option that we have. We have if, uh, and this one, if I use this one, I need to use if, okay. However, mm -hmm. teacher, I can see here, I'm afraid he's not here. Do you want to leave a message? It's interesting because he's leaving a message. It's not asking for a question. That's why I was wondering if we're able to say it, please tell him, no, ask him, but I don't know. You tell me because it's just leave a message not to ask a question for him, I think. Okay, let me see. Mm, what happened is like, I was thinking about this, this, this option here. Yeah. You know, uh, like, and if, if, okay. And if it's okay. Could you, like, um, let me see, please tell him what 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 is next? Please tell him. Mm -hmm. Because it's like a oh, Maxwell call yesterday. The meeting is. On Thursday at 10, don't forget to bring you. No, that's the third one. It's the third part. Oh, okay. This is tricky. <laughs> this is tricky. Uh -huh. so, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, if I'm going to use tell him, what is the next thing? 
I mean, for me, I mean, the asking is, is going to be quite easy. Uh, because I can say, um, asking if I can uh, borrow um, his, well, let me see. What is that thing? What is that thing? Uh, oh, this one is. Okay, me amen. Voy a subir esta cosa a little bit so we can see it better. Okay. I think we're working with this one, right? Because this one is Mark. Yes. Mark. Okay. Can I speak to Mark, please? Oh, I'm afraid he's not here. Do you want do you want to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Ed. Please ask him, right? If I can borrow uh his scanner. I mean yeah, that's the way I think it sounds easier for me, asking if uh, I can uh, borrow, oh, Jesus, um, his scanner. Uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry, this is just a sentence. Right. Yeah, please ask him if I can borrow his scanner. Mm. Yeah, you see why? Why? Because if you see in the message, can he borrow your scanner? You know that's why I'm I'm saying like, oh, asking if I can. Like Ed called this morning, and the person is taking the message like, can he borrow your scanner? If and also we have here if he can. Then, if you notice here in the example, we have the expression when. So this thing is giving us, oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Yes. So it, they give us like if here and when. The options here. So could you, let's say, right. What is the next one? Uh, tell him or ask him? Ask him, I think. Exactly. Why is asking, Giovanni? Oh, because whether or not that will depend to ask when in this situation, the LVH word, when, when is a, a question. When there you go. He... You see, people? See, vamos entendiendo this part? If you see the message, the message, right? Take a look. When there are questions, I need to make, I need to use ask because the message are questions. I don't know if you're getting it. In the message, we have questions. And because we have questions, we need to use ask. Okay. We like, Let me show you something else. Okay. Just let me finish this one so I can show you a little bit more. Okay. Um, could you ask? Ask. Let them have him one more time. What is next? Let me check. Uh, okay. When I, I'm sorry, I can uh, pick cup. Um. What else? I think it's like, yeah, I'm sorry. Pick it up. Teacher, I have a question. I have a concern. If I'm mm -hmm. understanding, I'm able to see that Mark is calling, right? Uh, I'm sorry, if it's for Mark and Ed called this morning, can he borrow your scanner was a question, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I can see, this is Ed, please ask if he can borrow your scanner, wouldn't? I don't know, because he's, he's asking about it. Ask him if he can borrow your scanner, I think. I don't know. Can um, I borrow? What happened is the context is like, a, um, is Ed requesting the scanner? Yes. And like, yes, please. This is Ed, please asking if I can borrow. So Ed is asking um, Mark's scanner. 
yeah, it's asking for Mark's scanner. So that's why we have it like asking if I can borrow his scanner. Yes, and then in the other one, could you ask him when I can pick it up? My bad, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's that's okay, no problem. That's okay, yeah. And um, there is one thing that I need you to notice, for example, here in the messages, we have questions. One question, and then we have another question. So we have two questions. And that's why here we are using ask, the verb ask, okay? Uh, that fits with the message, okay? Um, for example, let me show you. I'm going, voy a borrar esto, okay? I'm going to delete this one so I can show you the other one. Um, okay. Okay. Thank you. So we have this conversation about Mark, right? This is Mark. Okay, I think we have a Mark from a video. Okay. The other one, this one, who is this one? Uh, could I speak to? Oh, what is this one? What is this message? One, two, three, or four. Which one is? Number two. So... Number two, right. Okay. Number two. So it says, uh, Maxwell called yesterday. The meeting is on Tuesday. Don't forget to print your report. Okay. So this one, if you see, en el otro estábamos utilizando ask. Estábamos utilizando ask because we have questions here in the message. Yes, that the person wrote, right? That's why we are using ask. But here, we don't have question. What is the verb we are going to use? Tell. Or you tell. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, very good. Could you tell? What is next? Sorry. Oh, sorry. You tell. We're going to use here. What else? Him. Oh, very good. Could you tell him? Very good. good. The meeting is on Tuesday. Oh, very good. Very good. That the meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. Meeting is on Thursday, you told me, right? Thursday? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So don't forget it time. Uh no, the question mark we have it at the end. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we have it here. Could you tell him that the meeting is on Thursday? Yep. At 10 30 a.m. Oh, okay. Yes, very good. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Giovanni. I got it. Now I realize it that. Okay. Thank you. That was perfect. Uh 30 a.m., right? Jesus. Okay. A M. Yes, now I understand. Okay. Yes. Could you tell him that the meeting is on Thursday? Yeah. Very good. What about the other one? Could you tell him don't forget to bring your report? His report. Okay. Okay. Very good. Uh, uh, you. Um, oh, Jesus. Give me a minute. You tell him. And then you told me, don't forget to bring your Not report. To. Okay. Um, well. mm -hmm. Remember that yesterday estuvimos hablando like, cuando tenemos done and we use it in indirect question, what do we do with that? Do you remember with the auxiliaries? Mm -hmm. What do we do with the auxiliaries when we change it into an indirect, indirect question? Do we still have it or we delete it? We need to delete it. Exactly, right? So could you tell him not? What is the next one? The verb. Yes, in and we need to use the infinitive form because I don't use um mm -hmm. the auxiliary. So I need to say not to forget, right? To bring what is next? 
his report. Ah, beautiful. His report. Okay. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know. Because sometimes I make mistakes. Okay. Could you tell him not to forget to bring his report? Yeah, right. Makes sense. Well, for me, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yes. I don't know if you're like getting it right on this one. Yes. Um, we always can use like could, yeah, would, okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, but the difficult part where for me is to identify what is the verb that I'm going to write here. Is that tell, um, I don't know, um, or ask. That is the difficult part here. Let's take a look at the next one. I'm going to delete this one right now. Okay, thank you. Let's work with the next one. Oh, this one. What is the message? One, two, three, or four? Four. Number four. Exactly. So we're going to have Andy, Sean, I guess. Call earlier. Are you going to the conference tomorrow? What time is the city start? So we need to figure it out. What are these? Are these like normal sentences or just uh, imperatives? Or are these yes, no questions? Or are these double edged questions? Yeah, so um, which one do we use? Can, what is next? Mm -hmm. What is next? We have a pronoun. What is the pronoun? Can you this ask, message is can to you Kathy. ask because it's ask. Okay, can you? Oh, I'm sorry, can you ask? Yes, very good. And uh, this message is for a girl or a boy? Yeah. Oh, very good. Can you ask her? Mm -hmm. What is next? If you're going to. Oh, go the conference tomorrow. If she's going to the conference tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, I guess that's all right. Yes. Teacher, quick question. How do you know that it's a girl? Because have you watched Toy Story? And it's a boy. <laughs> No, no. What happened? This message goes to Kathy. That's why. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got it. it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. This message goes to Kathy. That's why. So Andy is the one that's that's calling, right? So and we need to ask Kathy, right? That's why we have her. Can you ask her if she's? Yeah, very good. Yeah, thank you. What about and would? Would you ask? You ask. Oh, very good. What very time good. does it start? Exactly. Okay, very good. You ask, what, what is next? You told me? What time? What time? That, oh, that very good. Ask her. her. Very good. What, what time? What time does it start? Is? Is? Or it's? It starts. I'm sorry. Time? It's? It? It's Beautiful. That is correct. Start. Would you ask her what time it starts? Yes. So the difficult part here is like, as you may know, normally we make direct, direct questions, right? For example, what time does it start? Esa es la, la direct question. Yes. Cuando usted pregunta, what time does it start? That is the direct question. But here, we need to change it. Yes? So, would you ask her what time? And then I have the verb, and I have this one, and I do not use the auxiliary. So, I do not use the auxiliary. And if I don't have an auxiliary, I need to write the rules, third-person rules. Yeah? And this one. 
So somehow that is the difficult part. And my recommendation is here, practice. You know, make normal questions and then rewrite those in indirect questions. So that can help you um, to, to work with the uh, structure of this one. Because here, as I told you before, if we don't have the auxiliary, what time it starts. But if I have what time does it start, so I need to change a little bit. So that's that's the tricky part. So these exercise with indirect requests are not a piece of cake. And, and my suggestion is like, uh, keep practicing. Okay, I know that maybe uh, you won't get it at the beginning. That is normal, but little by little, you will figure it out. Oh, this one is for this. Uh, this one is for that. Yes. Um, okay. Any question about this? Sorry, I forgot. I need to take the attendance. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I was so into this one. Like, uh, I apologize. Okay. Just give me a minute. Um, yes, we have Thursday. I will mention your name when you hear your beautiful name. Say present or I'm here. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Present. Thank you and welcome. Nice to have you. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. No, he isn't. What about Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar? Good evening. Nice to have you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Uh, Karen Elizabeth Bernal, you are still like uh, in recovery, right? Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Uh, Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Present. Thank you and good evening. Welcome. Carla Present. Selene Present. Hernandez Guevara. Karen Bernal. Present. Yes, yes. Karen Bernal, she's here just listening the class. Perfect. Good. Thank you so much. Maria Present. Santos Lopez Lopez. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. No, she isn't. What about Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barona? Present Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Good evening. Porque se ríe, teacher. It's like there is a vendor <laughs> yeah, passing by and selling quesadillas. So I don't know if you hear that. <laughs> Do you hear that? No? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's why I'm laughing because it's like it's a noisy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Hello, Michelle. Michelle. No? Okay, okay. Oh, thank you. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to have you, Michelle. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Um, Olga Marlene Gomez Rios. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Oh, I think you, you wrote in the chat, right, Oscar? Let me double check that really quick. Um, eh, Oscar, yes, Oscar is. Well, he's not here. Oh, yes, he's here. Yeah, thank you so much. I got you. Um, Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Uh, present teacher. Gentlemen, good evening. Welcome. Nice to have you. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you and good evening. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Wendy, and good evening. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Jenny. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Let me see who else. Nobody. Okay. Let's get back to the exercise. And and I'm sorry. Yes, about this, uh, but uh, we're going to keep practicing a little bit more, okay? 
let's take a look of the next one. Look at this picture. Tell me, please, Jenny, what do you see here in this picture? I see two boys uh, watching the, ta the tablet. Mm, if possible, uh, starting. Thank you. Or, Where are they? Or watching the social media. Oh, watching the social media. I mean, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Thank you so much. Very good. Um, we're going to have this exercise. Complete the conversation with the information in the box. In the box, if you notice, we have some vocabulary that we are going to use in, in, um, in the blank space. And also, we need to add extra words if we need those. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to use the information in the box here. And if we need extra information, we need to add it. We have Dan and Mark. Please, um, let me check, let me check. Roberto, please read the conversation and then stop here. In, I'm, I'm sorry, here. So we can complete this one, okay? Okay, teacher, just give me a little bit second because I am not, I am not in my home right now. I'm working. Don't worry. But, Thank you so much for letting me know. I, but That's okay. Let, let, let me try because in my cell phone is a little bit difficult. Oh, oh yeah. When, when, I, when I make the Zoom, you know, hold on, hold on. Okay. okay. Can you let do me, it? Yeah. If, if not, I can pick another one. Uh, maybe teacher because uh, perfect, I... perfect, no problem. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Sarah, hello, Sarah. Good evening. Thank you so much. Okay, please go ahead. Um, do you mind? I'm sorry. No, read read the conversation here from <laughs> here, and then when you get here, please stop there so we can help you with this. Okay. Perfect. From the beginning. Oh, yes, right? please. So is there anything I can do to have to help for the body? Yeah, I have a list here. Would it be all right if I borrowed your will speaker? Mine isn't working very well. Sure. And I bring two extra speakers who will have amazing sound. Thanks. No problem. Now, what about food? Well, I thought maybe a salad. Would you, would you mind um, bringing a bit big salad or? Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, give me a minute. Uh, bring, bring in while you tell me. Yeah, bring in. Bring in a big salad okay people let me know if she got it or run okay because as far as i can see that is correct yeah bring in a big salad yes and i love the way you did it right because you added like ing at the end that's very good yes thank you um jenny carry on jenny please uh... Well, okay, and how about drinks? Well, cold room. Cold room. Uh, ask, to, ask, ask Kelly to get some soda. Oh, beautiful. You got it. Oh, that's good. Ask Kelly. Kelly, okay, to get some soda. If you have a different answer, let me know so we can check this one. Ask Kelly to get some soda. Okay, carry on, Jenny. And please tell her. Mm. 
Continue, <laughs> continue with the reading so you can get a hint of that one. <laughs> Last time we had a party, she didn't arrive till 11 o'clock and everyone got really thirsty. <laughs> okay, so now you, you got what is the correct option? Borrow some money. <laughs> mm, no, no, no. Just work with the context, with with the last information that you have. Yeah. Work with the context. Right. So, uh, well, could you ask Kelly to get some soda and please Don't tell her. Don't be late. Oh, okay. Yes, very good. But you need to do something. You need to do something there with this one. And don't forget, don't forget uh, the imperatives. What do we do with imperatives? Mm -hmm. Don't not. Oh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Up. So. Not. Oh, to... beautiful. Exactly. Not to. Uh, I'm sorry. Not to be late. late. Beautiful. That is correct, right? Not to be late. Yes. Yes, because here we have the imperative, normal. But when we change it into an indirect, we need to like delete the uh, auxiliary and then we have the infinitive. Okay, very good. Wonderful, wonderful. Lino, continue, please. I remember. Jose Lino, Alvarenga, please. Oh, Jesus, let me know what time is it. I remember. We still have 10 minutes. I remember one more thing I was wondering if you could. Or someone. <laughs> Borrow some money. Oh, okay. Read, read the rest, the rest of the conversation. Mm, sure. All right. But uh, would you mind if I? Okay. Pay for for it. To pay okay. For it. Okay. Now, now try to figure it out. Which one goes here and which one goes here? Because the answer that you gave me is borrow some money here yes yes by by this sir oh very good okay very good uh let me see what is that dessert very good dessert by dessert very good um sure all right but uh would you mind if what is the other one borrow some money yes very good okay some money Okay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Very good. You see? Thank you. Now we're going to have Melanie Gomez Rios. Hello, Olga. Melanie. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. Thank That's you so great. Much. It's nice to have you one more time. You are going to be Dan <laughs> and Carla. Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carla. You are going to be Mark. Okay. Just okay. give me a minute so I can fix this one on the screen. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. So, is there anything I can do to help for the party? Yeah, I have a list here. Will it be all right if I burn your wireless speaker? Mine is not working very well. Sure, and I'll bring two extra speakers. We'll have amazing sound. Thanks. No problem. Now, what about food? Well, I thought maybe I salad. Would you mind too? Would you mind bring a bit salad too? Well, okay. And how about greens? Well, would you ask Te Kelly to get some soda? And please tell her not to be late. 
Last time we had a party, she didn't arrive till evening o'clock and everyone got us really thirsty. I remember. One more thing. I was wondering if you could buy dessert. Mm, sure. All right. But uh, would you mind if I borrow some money, pay for it? That was good. Oh, we have a dessert. Dessert. Okay. Very good. There is one thing that I would like to show you, which is don't forget about this information. Let me get it. Oh, Jesus. This one is. Okay. Don't forget about this information because this one is, is, is very, is quite clear, as you may see. So this is like... Um, the indirect request. This is the normal way that we say the things, right? If you hear we have a normal sentence, yeah? Here we have an imperative. Here we have a yes, no question. Yes. Um, and here we have a double-edged question. So if you notice here, right? Uh, the one that we're working today is pretty much this one, okay? But also we work a little bit with these ones as well in the exercises, right? So if you check this chart, you can like figure it out. Oh, you see, this is the way I, I write a question when I have indirect question introduced by a question word. So if you see here, can you ask, will you ask? Okay, and then in the middle, we have the double H word, which is where, what, and then, we have the rest. She's having lunch. Tina can talk to her about my homework. So uh, this is the difficult part because uh, that is 100% true. It, it is it's not a piece of cake, this one. Okay, so using this chart, you can be like working in your exercises or in your practice. Okay, um, and most of the time we use, if you notice, if you notice, lo que les comentaba, right? Cuando tenemos una question, podemos utilizar, most of the time, ask, 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 ask. But, cuando tenemos imperatives or normal statements, we can say tell, tell. We can use could, we can use can. Also, if you want, you can use would here. Would you tell her? Okay, and that's okay at the end, all right? But uh, the key here also is with the, when you understand that, oh, this is a statement, so I need to use, can you tell, I don't know, your brother? Can you tell, I don't know, somebody? Oh, this is an imperative. Oh, so can you tell or could you tell? Oh, this is a question, so I need to say, can you ask? Could you ask? Would you ask? Yes. Right. So in this in this one, with this charge, you can work with your sentences, identifying when you are going to use tell, tell in the structure, right? And when you are going to use ask. Also take into consideration when we have a negative imperative that we like delete the uh, auxiliary. And then we use the infinity form, like here, right? Don't forget the student's report. Not to forget. Yeah, so we delete the auxiliary do here, and we just add not. Yeah. Um. Let me see. What else do we have here? Oh, and then the double H words. The double H word always goes in the middle. Yeah, what? where yes uh and then the structure is quite the same if you notice right yes however what do we do here okay we don't use these things right yes oh this is the verb to be that we have here where are you having lunch okay can you ask mary where she's having lunch so instead of making us a question here it sounds 
after the WH word, it sounds like a normal sentence, but in the, like it is, it is a question, indirect question at the end. So this part here is, the, I mean, the tricky one is here in this part and also in this one, because when we add the last one, we need to figure it out. Oh, I need to delete the auxiliary. I need to, uh, I don't, I don't use the verb to be. I use something else. Okay. So my suggestion about all this indirect is keep practicing little by little. Okay. Write some like sentences, yeah, imperatives, some yes no questions, some double edged questions, and then try to make them imperatives. People, I'm sorry, it's time. Um, enjoy your weekend. Be nice, and we will see you next week on Monday. Bye bye. Take care. Thank bye, you for everything. Enjoy the rest of your shift. My pleasure. Thank you so much.